to get out their magazine at City Chase Toronto 2, the chase is on. City Chase is a similar concept to the Amazing Race TV show with some key differences. Within the next six hours, we need to complete 10 chase points. But to do that first, we need to get our clue sheet and find out where to go. Anyone can sign up for City Chase, and you don't need to train for it since you get a TTC pass that lets you take subways, streetcars, and buses all around the city. Finally, you get your City Chase clue sheet at the very start and need to plan out your day. Clue sheet, let's go figure it out. To successfully complete City Chase, we had six hours to complete 10 of 25 available chase points and get back to the start-finish line at Nathan Phillips Square. Chase points are a wide range of physical or mental challenges designed to push the limits of your comfort zone and are always a great deal of fun. And that's the last time you're ever going to see me cheerleading. You're welcome. We'd highly recommend planning out your chase points before you start running around the city. So it's almost mandatory to have a map of your city and a smartphone to help you with answering the clues. Once you are set to go, you can get to your selected chase points on foot or by using the TTC with the aforementioned pass. I have to put this sword in my mouth, throw up a cherry, and skewer the cherry. Yikes. And there it is! He did it! So it's pretty much frisbee golf where you have to get oh, I the go. target within a certain amount of times. Although technically this is a race and there are prizes for winning, our approach to this event was very much the same as many of the people out here today. Simply have as much fun as possible by getting to as many chase points as we could. Here we go with some sledge hockey. And as you can see, every chase point had something unique to offer and was a whole different kind of fun. Here we go, I'm in a Scion and I have to score a goal with this soccer ball. Oh. We're about three and a quarter hours in. We've done eight chase points. We've run almost 12 kilometers and we're at our ninth chase point. Let's go see what it is. Balancing was important at this chase point and balancing the amount of time traveling on foot versus using the TTC was something we could have done better. Although it was a nice day to run around Toronto. But we ended up finding a great chase point that allowed me to cool off a little. So be warned, one of you might have to get wet. All our chase points complete. We're running to the finish line. Let's go. Well, we're just wrapping it up. We just left the after party at Shoeless Joe's. What a great day. We had so much fun. Lots of fun uh, city chase points and great volunteers and fellow chasers. So it was a lot of fun. I would absolutely do it again. And it's a great way to see the city and spend a day whether you want to do the full six hour version or the shorter two hour version and uh, get on with the rest of your day. City chase is definitely a lot of fun.